Hello, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? I'm your host, The Lost Traveler, and you're welcome to 3 Indie Games, a potpourri of Indie Games. I can never read if the word potpourri is well used. It's like potpourri. Potpourri. It's an expression in my country, a potpourri. It's like a, an assortment of things, of different things. Hello. <laughs> so, 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 let me see. Let me just see. First come first. For some reason, my avatar is not picking up when I'm opening my mouth. There is weather. Sorry for showing you the creepy, the creepy face tracking. But what are we gonna do? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. I didn't. I didn't warm up the software or anything. God damn it. Was the last thing I did. And I had everything else ready, and there was like, I don't need to do anything else, and I forgot to boot the VTuber studio. So, we are going to play a potpourri of games, and for that, we need to spin the wheel. Wheel of names, we're gonna put the names of the things that I have over here. So we have. Um, well, actually, I know what I want to play. Actually, I want to play Spooky Soria. 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 The reason is is because it's made by Nom Nom Nami. Nom Nom Nami is um, basically is the person you go when you want a, a game full of sweetness and beautiful things. It's a visual novel. So we're gonna boot it up. We're gonna turn off this music. There we go. And also, I have Sinking Iron, a horror game made by Lixion. Language, English. Yay, nom nom nami. This is, the, this is the one. Let me just go to options, put this thing in full screen. Got it. After that, we're going to go to OBS. We're going to click on Capture of Game. And we're going to go for First Kiss at the Spooky Sorry. 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 There we go. This game is going to be sweet. Super sweet, in fact. You might get diabetes. Diabetes. Let's go for start. Look at the beautiful character, Marzipan. Oh, beautiful name. This is it. This is it. The party where I will finally have my first kiss. First kiss party. party. It's happening. I love it. I want to go home. You better be kidding, I didn't bring you all the way here for nothing, Mars. I'm half kidding, I'm just nervous. What well, don't be, you made up your mind, didn't you? No matter who it is, you're gonna kiss someone on the lips because you are so tired of being an old and yet never... Don't say it! I know, I'm here, so now I'm committed to following through. Yep, and as your fam familiar, I, suppo I support you completely. Okay, but we just... but. Why you got a kiss on being... Insist on being my familiar. Can a witch have a cat friend without it being dead? Let me be of service to you, master. Meow, meow. <laughs> oh my god, stop. I'm letting you help me, so, nev so never say that stuff in front of anyone ever. Yeah, yeah, let's go inside. Dude, dude, look at that, how beautiful this game looks. Ah, Nom Nom Nami. She always does, does the best games ever. The best visual novels. It's uh, a little crowded, huh? The more the merrier! Get out there and chat someone up! Ooh. Alright, who should I try talking to? Tiny person, Incubus Boy, retreat to the snack table. I even have more options. Jesus! Oh my god, that demon is from another of her games! I know that demon! I know that demon is... Hot demon cheek dog? Is he gonna get girl dead? <laughs> oh boy! Wait, can I... Can I attack my friend? Huh. Yeah, we to the snack table. Maybe this whole thing was a bad idea. Mars, oh my god, where do you think you're going? 
I can't do this, nothing even hap ever happening, but I'm alterably and this is stupid and I don't want to. What? Come on, you were like so set on this. It's impossible, let's give up, tonight's no good. No way, you will get all mad at me for letting you run away for your feelings, your romantic desires. Oh my god, shut up! I changed my mind, I don't want to kiss anyone, I'm fine going to the rest of my life without it. Hey, you can't give up on your dream. I'm throwing that dream in the trash where it belongs. Come on, you're already here, you may as well go all the way, I will be your dedicated wingman, I won't leave your side. Cam really wants this for me. Leave the party? Oh, I can just like... I can just like give, like give up. Or accept her help. See, you really want to, don't you? I promise it will be fun. Well, whatever you wanna do. Good, you don't have to move. I will just let people come to us. Ah, cool demon, uh, cool looking... Uh, that's, that's a real demon. Demon lady, go for it, Mars. Hello! Quite a selection of tasty goods here, right? I can hardly decide. Yeah, good luck with that. So, um, what brings you here? Uh, um, I guess I was going to have some more punch, I guess. No, to the party, silly. Friends of Chirval of Chirvals? Friend of a friend. I'm not really a uh, part of this crowd. I don't even li live around here. He's a real demon. Oh, shame. Same. This is the first party I have been, I have ever been dragged to. Don't make yourself so miserable, don't worry, she's just kidding. Cool, I'm um, going back over there now, see you around. Sh sure, sorry to keep you. This might be harder than I thought. Well, not even everyone is a social... This might be harder than I thought. It's difficult to know who is talking. Because of the... Of the... Of our character being down in, in the left. But that's just the thing with visual novels. Well, not ever since I feel like I'm bothering these pe these poor people. Good thing I don't play on coming back after this. Hey, Periwinkle is coming over here. This guy's cool. We definitely have a shot. This guy is from another one of their games. Hello, Vector! Welcome to the stream! We're playing some queer game today. Well, it's one of the multiple games that I'm going to play. And this one is queer as hell. Jam, how long have you been here? Oh, not too long! Let me introduce you to Marzipan. Take initiative. I'm being too passive. I don't really want to make this happen. And then I gotta... Take initiative. Your dress is incredible, devilishly really beautiful, right? It is indeed. Why, Jam? You never told me your girlfriend was an inspired fashionista. Uh, uh we're not. I mean, haha, <laughs> that's a good one, Perry. I'm just her familiar, not her girlfriend. No way. Anyway, I just remember someone I have to go meet. Jam? My, such a suspicious exit. Yeah, for real. So much for me and my dedicated wingman who don't want will leave my side. Let me just hear a strategy to let me try to flirt on my own. You're coming back for me later, right, Jam? Marzipan was it? This one is a boy, by the way. Okay, go get something to eat. Marzipan was it? What brand are you wearing tonight? I don't recognize it. Oh, I can afford any of the brands I'm into. This outfit is just something I threw together. <laughs> it's quite cute. And I promise I don't mean that in a condescending way. Oh, well, thanks? From what I do here, I expect you to be the, the tasteless, nerdy, shutting sword. No offense. That's... Honestly, yeah. Well, this half is true, I don't get out much. There was a time I didn't have much of a social life, could you have a guess? I used to spend my days in isolation, being reading comics, but it gets lonely after a while, you know? Yeah, I can totally relate. I'm here tonight because I started feeling so lonely not having anyone to share a romantic experience with. Not that I do ever say it out loud, and certainly not to some guy I just met. It's a tad noise in here, would you mind accompanying me outside for a fresh air? Outside? Alone together? Which means... Step closer to my goal? 
Sure, I'm no good uh, with crowd parties anyway. Let's step outside. How beautiful are the backgrounds? I love them. Such a lovely night for a sorry. Sorry. Yeah, totally. Why can't I think of anything to say? I have come this far. I have to make it work somehow. So, Marzipan, if I may be so bold. Is there anyone you're interested in? Boys, girls, all the genders in between? Oh, um, no one in particular. I'm attracted to everyone pretty equally. You must have a type though, right? A type? I don't know. Maybe I do. I'm quite into which boys myself, but I don't mind a lady with a refined taste. Oh my god. From the look he's giving me, <laughs> that must be me, right? Come on now, am I making you nervous? Are you just that shy? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would I feel shy? We're just two fashion lovers having a friendly chat. Can I even say that? Is it really just a friendly chat when I secretly want to try kissing him? If you'd like it to be more than that, I could indulge you. I have been looking for company. Huh? My heart is pounding way too hard. This is what I wanted. I I'm looking for company too. Your knees are shaking, dear. Are they? Sorry. You need to enforce yourself. Just relax. All things at your own pace. I wanted to have some kind of romantic experience tonight, but... Maybe I get it in over my head. I just don't know how else I'm supposed to dive into something into something like this. Hmm. So did you think the flirty boy in a dress will make for a good first time? I don't like that. Oh, care to elaborate then? Why are you even giving a mess like me the time of day? You're available. We have a certain common commonalities. So I thought hmm, you will do. You know what? I guess I was kind of thinking the same about you. <laughs> well, you don't have to laugh so hard about it. Sorry, this has been a spectacular failure. I will spare myself any further embarrassment and go back inside now. Marzipan? Huh? Would you like to try kissing? Um, um just a quick little kiss, is that okay? It's be very, very, my very first one. Aww. What? Hmm, you're still so tense. Uh, I was really nervous. <laughs> Thanks, though. Certainly, dear. This was fun. You decided to put yourself out there after years of isolation. It's all too familiar. My reason for dressing up, for putting on makeup, for looking this glamorous. It's also I do have the confidence to go after the thing I want. I just hated losing to my own self-doubt. Why wallow in it when I could look just as beautiful as the girls from the comics I admire? <laughs> okay, now I'm sure we went through two totally different things here. Regardless, I have you to thank you for reminding me how far I have come when it comes to confidence. Oh, shut up, you're totally looking down on me right now. I look down on everyone, doll, how can I not? Have you seen anyone else w here who's even remotely on my level? Hmm, just kidding. You need to learn there is such a thing as more confidence. Maybe so? You're just so like this. Mm hmm. Oh, this was so sweet. Periwinkle end. Oh, beautiful. Let's go for another one. Start. Let's uh, skip. Mm. Dog, dog, dog. Hot demon chick. Is that get dead? Hmm. Tiny person? Weird question, but is there a tiny person in the chandelier? Is that a bug? I'm gonna eat it. Do not! Oh, they flew off somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go after your prey. You probably scared them. I will go apologize. I'm not gonna try to eat them or anything. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, they're really small. That's a, that's a little, that's a real fairy. Hey, are you? Stay back! You're aiming to capture us, aren't you? 
He has an eye in the middle of the forehead. <laughs> or is that a tiara? I believe it's a tiara. This thing over here. I think it's a tiara. I believe it was an eye. <clears throat> what are you talking about? The cat is your camera, is she not? He saw the look. We, we saw the look in her eyes. We will not be devoured by the likes of her. I just wanted to apologize. She gets weird around bug people, but I won't let her eat you, so it's okay. Truly? Very well then. Dreadfully sorry for having assumed so. It's cool, I don't blame you. Hmm. We are known as Puffin, and you, Madam Witch, is Marzipan. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Lady Marzipan. Welcome to our most splendorous area. Huh? But Jan said this was Chir Chirbal's house. Sir Chirbal is barely the host. The residents belong to us. Quite sizable for a moth, would you say? A moth. Yeah, definitely, but why would I, you want to live in a place that scaled to, um, everyone else's eyes? Ah, uh, we thought it was obvious. We are very rich, you see. I see. This game is weird, but at least it makes her easier to talk to. Keep chatting. So, Puffin, what were you doing in the chandelier? Oh, pretty lights are, are a weakness. We often enjoy fli flying, flitting around in their warmth. And that chandelier is particularly excellent for it. Is that a mod thing, or...? Are you not drawing to light? To warmth? We feel like creatures are this way, though we may be not only weak to it. I just say, I don't know if anyone else who hangs out in chandeliers. That is merely because you do not fly. Or can you fly? Witches have all sorts of powers. It is hard for us to keep track of times. I'm a light witch, but not light enough to float. <laughs> Bad joke. A light witch, you say? We are intrigued. Tell us more. Oh, this is gonna really well somehow. I guess it's a lucky coincidence. Maybe I can demonstrate outside. I can show you, but could you? Could we do it outside? Wouldn't want to disrupt your soirée. Fun is not disruption, but if you wish to step outside, we'll be gladly accompany you. Is this very suitable? Uh, we can hardly wait. We can hardly wait. Ah, this should be fine. Here goes. Incredible! They glow so brightly! Lady Marcipan, we have no idea witches could do things like this! Oh, it's nothing special. But it is! <laughs> we are positively enamored! Hey, wait a second. Isn't that kind of... romantic? <laughs> I just realized it's kind of turned into something romantic on accident, is that weird? So bright, wondrous! Oh, what were you saying? Nothing! <laughs> Ah, what fun. We can never had a friend like this before. We must invite you over again. What? I thought you gotta have like a billion friends since you apparently throw these big parties all the time. Ah, you kinda notice we are very small and easily missed by our guests. The responsibility of hosting is usually blank, ban, big, big, bequated to Sir Chirval due to, well, our voice does not carry so well. Oh, makes sense. I hadn't even thought about that. These are the number one things you should have noticed about us, and yet you were blind to them? I don't know, I guess I just kind of forgot, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. We are glad for a night to be treated as, an, as any commoner bull. I keep getting the feeling this girl is someone important, but it's too late to ask. Oh! Princess, princess! Princess? Did we neglect to mention? Well, it matters not. Oh my god, I was trying to get a kiss from a princess. What is it, our servant? Are we needed elsewhere? Forgive me for interruption, his majesty has spotted you in the midst of your enchantment by this witch and expressed a terrible concern. Concern? Whatever is there to be concerned about? I, I was sent to retrieve you before you were whisk whisked away by this person. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause any trouble for your royal mod family. Do Oh, not at all, Lazy Marzipan. It was a simple misunderstanding. We shall say our farewells for the night and go clear things up with Father. But first, we must thank you for the marvelous evening, short of at, at it may have been. Oh, I'm not troubled at all, Your Majesty. Please, just Puffin is fine. First name basis with the princess? She's really cast a spell on you, hasn't she? This is so worrisome. You have done us a great service by displaying your magical prowess, Lady Marzipan. Can we do anything to repay you? Well, I did come here for a reason, but I don't know if I should say. Whatever you decide, we're happy to oblige. Now, out with it. 
Um, I have um, never kissed anyone before, so I wanted to make it happen somehow. I totally understand if you can't, though. A kiss? With a princess? <gasps> oh no, fate! <laughs> I just said turn. You do not wish to ask for a share of our fortune. No priceless jewels, no bag of gold. I don't think I did anything to be able to ask for stuff like that. Besides, this this one thing is the most important to me right now. Very well then. We have also never shared a kiss with anyone before. Let's try it. Oh, that is much. Cute. Was it satisfactory? Yes, thank you. I'm happy I could make my first kiss with such such a nice memory. Ah. Was the prince of really kiss? How sinful! You are a sinful witch! Jealousy doesn't become of you, dear servant. Alas, it is time we must depart to where father awaits us in a royal attic. Please do come again another night, Lady Marzipan. I must certainly win. Thanks again, Puffin. Oh, this is so sweet. Puffin and... Beautiful. So freaking sweet. Like, super sweet. This game is super sweet. Sweetness. Sweetness plus a, plus a million. Um, next one will be the Incubus boy, right? Hey, it should be hard to get a kiss from an Incubus, right? Oh shit, you wanna go for che for Cheerwell? Bald. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna go say hi. I will sus on it seems like you need my help. Thanks, here I go. Oh, you're on your face. Hello, I'm friends with Jam, I think you know her. Oh, you're Marzipan, aren't you? She talks about you constantly. God, you could make it. Yeah, I really never go to... I, I never really go to parties, so cool to be here, I guess. So real, sorry, just your scene, huh? Mind if I ask what made you decide to come tonight? Just felt like it. Just felt like it? <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. I'm trying to meet someone in hopes of uh, romantic developments. Why am I saying this to him? He just makes me feel so at ease. Is this what an incubator are like? Oh, romantic development. No wonder you approach me. Oh god, oh god, that was too blunt. Is he gonna take it the wrong way? Is he gonna make a move on me because I say that? Is this how my first case is going to happen because I just blurted out? Basil, come over here a moment. Uh, did you need something? Just wanted to introduce you to Jam's friend, Marzipan. Say hello. H hello, I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, I love your house. Oh, thank you. Look at that, you're getting along great. Keep up the great conversation. I'll be back momentarily. Huh? He patted my back as he left. Is that a setup? He's trying to set me up? My brother is, um, a little pushy, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> don't mind. You look more comfortable. You look more uncomfortable than uh, me, so I thought it to be be I should be the one that I oh I'll be the one apologizing. Blech. I'm kind of um just not good with a uh, boozy atmosphere like this, I guess. Yeah, same. Come on, why can't I think of anything to say? I hear so small talk in my life and yet I can't think of a conversation started starting in the critical moment. Wait for him to say something. Calm down, calm down. Patience is key. I can't just run away the first second I get anxious. I will just be honest. <laughs> wow. It sure is hard to just start a conversation with someone out of nowhere. Y yeah, it is. Sometimes I'm, uh, I wish I could just, you know, use an, an escape door to exit reality. <laughs> Hold just a fucking second. That's a reference to... You play Demon Guerrera. You know about Demon's Gaera? I have been a huge fan for like the last decade. Oh, oh my god, it's so rare to even run into someone who knows about it. Yeah, I have played all, all of them for, from the start. I, I have never met anyone who wasn't introduced to it through me and my brother. Oh yeah, I have always the one showing it to my friends too. Oh, what? This is awesome. My life for life. Oh, you really play them all. I... I, I I have um, a big collection. Do you want to see it up upstairs? Collection? Absolutely! You have to take me to, to take me right now. There is so much to talk about. I hope I'm not getting in the way of your plans for the night. 
No, no, this is way better than I ever could have wished for. Do not worry at all. Ah, that's great. Let's go then. <laughs> Look at the figurines! I know the manga! These are all my figurines. I have them organized by series. And uh, all the books? Well, not all of them. I know there are two or three I still need to find. Oh my god, you have so much rare shit. Is this heaven? I just love it a lot. The characters are really inspiring, you know? Yeah, Magic is uh, your favorite, isn't she? Is this another reference for the non of Navi games? Or some other game? How can you tell? I guess I do have an entire shelf of her. I love her too. Her spells are what made me want to specialize in light magic. Yeah, I understand that feeling. I want to be like her too. Um... I hope this is a awkward to be suddenly brought into a voice room when you don't really know me. I guess the number of person might feel weird, but... You are no stranger to me. Oh, no, 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 I wasn't taking it that, that way at all. Don't worry, I'm just glad to share in the demon's guy I love. But, yeah, of course, but... Can I be honest with you? Since I feel like we can't trust each other as magical fans. Sure, of course, what's up? The reason my brother was um, like this strange earlier, part of the reason he threw this part is, is that I... He wants me to come out of my shell, I guess. As, as an incubus, I'm not good at attracting people like he is. I'd rather um, be more like magi Magico in the way that um, she does not whatever she wants and doesn't bother trying to impress anyone. Yeah, she's really cool that way. Such a badass, honestly. Yeah, wow. Sometimes I feel like if I could be her, maybe I could feel more confident. Oh, my sweet love. What's stopping you? Uh, I mean, I can't look like her. I think you put it off. It would be easy with my magic. You think I should try cosplaying her? Yeah, let's do it. It'll be fun. Right now, can we? Absolutely. I love, 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 love this sort of thing. Leave it to me. Aww. Ah, you're ready. How do you feel, Magico? Wow, you did really a good job. It's like blinking and you were done. Well, like magic saves a lot of trouble. You don't need dyes or makeup when you can just do color spells. I'm really like Magico now. Wanna go show off? No, 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 no. I'm not ready for some something like that. Fair enough, I just feel really proud looking at you. I never experienced to bond this much with someone at a party like this, and over magic of all things. Is this why people go to parties for rare experiences like... Oh no, my goal! I should have to be trying to get a kiss! But I don't want Basil to feel awkward and then we'd never hang out again. No, what am I gonna do it? Sorry if I'm wrong, but you look troubled all of a sudden. Oh, it's nothing, I just I just remember what I came to this party to do. Ah, I got to be so distracted. What was it? Guess I might as well say it. I'm um trying to get my first kiss right now for someone here tonight. Oh, how come? Because I want to make it happen, no matter what. This is just something I have to do for myself. Oh, that's very magical-like of you. Maybe I should cosplay her too. Anyway, I should probably go back downstairs and try to work and accomplish my goal. It was fine hanging out, Basil. Let's do it again sometime, okay? Wait! Hmm? You don't have to go downstairs yet. I mean, I should keep. I shouldn't keep you if you want to go. But, but... what's up? M Magic charm. Oh, maybe that. Huh? It's a spell. You have to know. I got that. But why are you suddenly magic charming me? F -f Fool! I must have spelled it out for you, helpless peon, pawn. I if it's a kill's desire, look no further than magical. I mean, sorry, I was just being in character, but you probably um didn't want to... No, no, that's great, I didn't want to make you feel weird by asking, so... If you really do it, then... Yeah, it's the last thing, it's the least I can do to say thanks. So, prepare yourself. Aww. Magic smooch. If I see a video from Magico, I never would have guessed. Was that okay for your goal? Yes, I feel kind of silly for making such a big deal out of it, but it's done now. If there is anything else you need, Magico will have your back. Oh my god, I can't get over how good you are at being here. I am? I mean... <laughs> of course. Oh, 
That was so freaking sweet. Oh my god, this is so freaking sweet. Baseland. No. Cute as hell. Start. Um, can I skip this? Yeah. Well, more options, because I have already done all of this. Dog. I may have spotted some really cute who I want to go flirt with or something. Whoa, you're finally admitting you want to flirt with someone. Maybe I am. What's the problem? Nothing, I'm just happy for you. You want to kiss me. You were being so shy that I was starting to feel bad for being pushy. But if it's what you want after all, I gotta support you. Support cat. Meow. I will get uh, out of your way. Hey, good luck. Jam, I thought you came here to help me out. Don't just run away so abruptly. Ah, the dog girl come over here. Oh, hey, you. Me? You're not doing anything right? Okay, come with me. Not that I might get whisked away by a really cute girl, but... Where are we going? Outside! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I guess uh, we're going outside. Roll with it. Okay, yeah, let's go! Oh, well. There was a graveyard back here? This place is way spookier than a jam told me. Though, I guess it is a demon's house. It's kind of their aesthetic. Putting that aside, I'm all alone out here with this girl. Hey, um... Straddle. Straddle? Will you uh, mind explaining what we're looking for? Oh, I didn't say? No wonder you were just standing there all confused. I need help finding my bone. Bone? Yeah, I found a bone when I came here. It was like the best thing to chew on, you know? How very dog-like. That's cool. Sounds great! Sorry that you lost something so wonderful. You like bones too? I never expect a witch will get it. Hey, hey, I totally picked the right person for this. You're awesome. I should grab my hand only for a second, but it feels like progress. Uh, it's too dark out here. Where is the sun when you need it? Where is the sun when you need it? Oh, I can't help with that. I'm a light witch. Whoa, you can make it bright out here? Sure, hold on. Like, whoa, this will make it low season to look around. Oh, wow, there it is, next to those other bones. Other bones? Oh, look, in the underneath grave. Hey, man, you didn't come back to steal my femur, did you? The bones are talking. I may look like this, but I'm not dead. I'm just a groundkeeper. So here appearance is illusion magic, as you have guessed. Mystic Teleman, please, 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 let me chew that bone some more. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It ain't a real bone, lady. What? Poo. What a ripoff. Well, that was a bust, but I still have to thank you. Uh, do we really deserve these, these things? I didn't do much. She don't have to thank me. Oh, don't be so modest. Oh. That was the case right away. That means that you that means thank you in body in doggy language. Did you really give a kiss like that when you want to thank them? Well, I guess you are a little bit special. Huh? In what way? You look like you wanted someone to talk to or hang with, and that's why it was like, let's go. Because everyone should be having fun at the party and you weren't. You, you could tell that from, from one look? What I'm saying is, I wanted to have some fun with you, so you didn't look so lost, then you ended up being a big help. Hey, hey, what's your name anyway? Marcipan. Marci... Mar... Oh, why are you Mar Jam's girlfriend? Sorry, leak your face! No, 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 it's fine, she's just my friend, not... Wait, who else thinks that's where... Oh, I don't know, but if you're not dating, that's good. Or maybe it's bad. I don't want her to get mad at me. Uh, I don't think she'd get mad at... Yeah, she's not, re not really the jealous type. Well, everybody's, everybody's cool then. I told her we're da not dating. What is she trying to imply? Come on, Marcy, let's get to work. While the tag is young. Work? Yep, yep. You're gonna help me find a real bow next. What have you got myself into? <laughs> it's Trudelin. Oh, her name was Trudel. Got it. That was sweet. But I can see that 
Um, let's go for... Is that girl dead? Oh shit, I think that girl on the floor over there is passed out or something. Uh, Jam, don't just leave me here talking to myself. Ah, oh, whatever, no one noticed. I should go see if that girl is okay. Um, hello, are you dead? Yeah. Oh no. Well, it's more like I'm undead. Oh, I thought this will turn into a murder mystery so the party. You think there was no murder? What's a murder in all these bright colors and no support party goers? I'm having sensory overload here. I'm sorry, do you need any help? I could move you somewhere more... Don't touch me! Yeep! Sorry, oversensitive. Could you actually bring me a soda? I It will revive me, seriously. Uh, right away! You can count on me, I will right, I will right back. Soda, soda, where we go? Here we go. I hope this is the kind she wants. Boo! What? You're all see-through! Oh, it's, a, it's a light spell. You are like a projection, right? Hmm. This is why I hate all the witches. No one ever yells a g -g 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 ghost and run away. Sorry, was, was that the wrong response? No, it's about what I expected. Give me that soda. I'm so stuck up to get this soda to the girl over there. It's no... It's a drive with her. Don't give it to my stalker. Give it to my... To me instead. Stalker? Gimme, give gimme! Give her hands pass right through me. This feels strange. Ah, being incorporated is the worst. I just want a little taste. I don't really get what's happening right now. No, this isn't for you. Someone did this more than you right now, so... Uh, you can't taste it anyway, so... You don't have to rub it in. Now, before I go back over there, where is... Uh, what's this talker business? It's complicated, but it will tell you, since I like talking about myself. How straightforward. I'm a witch. My body started to rot from some reason. Some weird virus. There is no no cure. You're not contagious, are you? I know how not to infect people. Besides, it's, it's in this form, it's perfectly safe. Anyway, instead of coming out in a deceased vessel till I die, I split my soul off. I could be free to do whatever I want again. Aren't you, aren't you clever? But you can't even touch anything like this. Yeah, it has its downsides. The stalker over there? That's my body. The rest of my soul is in there. Oh, the rest. Yeah, if my whole soul left, left it, there will be no going back. My body will totally die. That will slip into the afterlife. What I want a party here. Huh, it sounds pretty selfish, but makes sense. Except, if that's your body, why do you call it your stalker? Because it follow me everywhere. Isn't that so creepy? I just tried talking to it. Um, her? Come on, if you two reunite, you will get a taste of this soda. You're mean, you witch. We're both witches. I see, yep, they're the same person. Did you bring the soda? I did, along with the rest of your soul, apparently. Could you put it in my mouth, the soda? You get the soda? Uh, sure thing. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. So not fair, so not fair. You could enjoy this too if you become a whole person again. Ghost me, please. I know you want to taste it. I know having a body is kind of lame, especially when I'm rotting like this. But look, this nosy witch is trying to help us out. Nosy? Well, I guess I kinda am out of this situation. We went through so much trouble to do the spell. I know. I tried to ditch you and I treated you like garbage, but you followed me all the way here. I know. Even when we, when you ran out of energy and collapsed over here, I didn't even tell anyone to go and help you up. Why am I such a dick to myself? And this cute witch wanted to help and I tried to take the soda from myself? Cute? Soda? Our lifeblood? She really brought us some for us to enjoy together. Even if we're just a weird she found on the floor, everyone else was ignoring you, so... You, you're so good, I like you. Oh, smooch! Uh, 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 what has happened? Okay, let's reunite, I'm ready. 
think that was my first kiss, but I didn't feel anything. Wait, did it even count? You're back together, good for you. Um, <laughs> I never got your name. It's Bean, short for Vinegar. Short for Vinegar. Bean, I'm Mars, short of Marzipan. Sorry about uh, the ghosting, kiss. Oh, um, I didn't mind, don't worry about it. Really? Cool. Since it was like a fraction of my soul, she was kind of dumb and did whatever she wanted, so... Ah, I'm glad you are cool again here. Here, the rest of your soda. Carbonate me, yes! Oh, thank you. Does that really heal you that much? I told you it's my lifeblood. You revive me, I owe you one. Mm, then, wanna hang out? Sure, help me over to the snack table. Oh, Vinegar and this is beautiful. How many endings do we have? Done, 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 done. Oh my god, there is still... Um, come back from this one after you kiss his little brother. Okay. No, how demon girls for you. Okay, maybe there is a demon you can kiss. No one will blame you for skipping it. Hmm. So, the... Incubus boy, maybe. Um, hot demon chick. I know what I like to key is definitely a hot demon girl. I mean, I don't know much about demon contracts, but I'm sure I could get one to, to agree to, key, to a kiss. This seems like a, the easiest option. Mars, I can tell you're scheming something, spot someone you like. I'm not, and maybe. I, I will be right back. You, um, hello. Hi. Do you mean if I uh, chat with you? I have never done this before. Done what before? You know, trying to flirt with someone you think is cute? Oh, I'm flattered, but you don't want to flirt with me. What is that? Camilla! <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's why. Who are you talking to over there? Chirvals at say he to teach me his incubus ways. You're missing out on some good stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm being summoned. One last question! Ho hold on, I need to ask you something! I should really go. If I was interested in summoning a demon to um, form a contract, how would I go about doing that? Oh, I'll give you my brother's number. You call him for instructions. Really? Thank you! Just be sure to read the fine print before you sign. Take care! I figured I'd step outside to make this call, but there is a graveyard be before back here for a reason. Wait, these are just lawn corn ornaments. They make me feel better. Says the girl about to summon a demon just to get her first kiss over with it. But I have no choice. I gotta kiss someone before the party ends. And since I couldn't kiss the hot demon girl, I would summon my own contract demon. It's just a sensible thing for me to do at this point, right? Make the call! Ah, it's ringing! Olog speaking, may I ask who's calling? Hi, I just got the number from your sister, I'm interested in hiring a contract demon. I guess I'll help you with that. I'm free at the moment, do you have access to a summoning circle? Um, no, I'm at a party, but it's a demon's house, so maybe they have one somewhere? If you're unable to find that, drawing it yourself is also an option. Oh yes, I can do that, um... I guess I can just draw it in the dirt, huh? A crude pentagram should suffice. I already have your general location. Thanks to my sister. Um, okay, it's drawn. Wonderful. And your name? Oh, it's Marzipan. Perfect. Thank you, Marzipan. I will be there shortly. He's really coming. I'm really summoning a demon right now. This might be the most impulsive thing I have ever done, but, but now it's time for second talks. He's... Olog, I just service. What? You really come out of the dirt, huh? It's not the oldest place I have been summoned from, believe me. <laughs> then I guess I wouldn't feel too bad about it. It was short notice, I understand. Whoa, now that I can see him, he definitely is her sibling. This is not a bad com compromise. Um, I have never done this before. I have no idea it was so easy to summon a demon. Well, we were able to skip a few steps due to the unique, unique circumstances of your call. But ease of access is something my company strives for. 
Now then, what can I do for you, Miss Marzipan? <laughs> about that. Tonight I, well, I will spare you the embarrassing details, but... I need a kiss. A kiss involving you and one of the party, I presume? That's right. My contract to me, I will be the one to fulfill your wish. Do you accept? Yeah, I mean, I don't expect you to make someone else kiss me. You'd be surprised at the amount of witches we get hoping to solve the issues of our inequited love. Anyways, will this be a one-time transaction, or are you requesting recurring kisses at some fixed intervals? Just the one. <laughs> Talking about it's like it feels kind of silly. And what level of intensity did you have in mind? Location, length, in seconds? Okay, yeah, this feels really ridiculous. I have to include these sort of details in the contract in order to properly fulfill it. Just a light kiss on the lips? No more than a second, right? If that's all you want. All I want is a pleasant experience I can remember fondly, I guess. One quiz between the witch, marzipan, and contract demon Olog, mouth to mouth contact, low intensity to take place in the witch's discretion. This is so embarrassing, but yeah, I think that's about it. Great, sign here. Write on your tablet? Okay. It says I have to give my soul to the netherworld. Is this really okay? I am desperate. Thank you very much. Our contract is now in effect. Would you like a copy of your records? No, thanks. I don't need to embarrass the proof of this transaction. Very well. Shall we move forward with fulfillment? Or would you like to set a date? No, no, now it's fine. At this point, I feel so ashamed. I just want to get it over with. Why ashamed? You needed a service. I provided. it. But aren't people normally able to accomplish this much without needing to summon a demon for it? Everyone has their own weaknesses. I'm sure there are many things you are capable of yourself that others may, might rely on a demon to fulfill. Yeah, I guess that makes me feel a little better. Thanks, Olog. I'm ready now. For, 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 for real this time. Kiss. Was that satisfactory? Yeah, I managed to reach my goal, I'm happy about that, no matter the circumstances. Glad to hear it. Now it's working with you, Marzipan. Wait, before you go... Hmm? Do you get any satisfaction out of having to do things like, like that for your clients? <laughs> These kind of acts do nothing for me. I'm asexual. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of answer I expected, but now I feel bad for making you kiss me. I would have re renegotiated had it been an issue. I do this professionally, remember? Have a good night, Marzipan. You have my number in case you change your mind about making a co ma wanting a copy of our contract. Oh, that's right, my soul belongs to the Netherworld now. How am I gonna tell Jam about this? Demon End. Just like that. So wait, I have the Demon End. Belong to the Netherworld now. Now, how do we get the not hold demon girls for you? Probably go for more options. Go with hot demon chick. Skip. Okay, see ya. That should be the end, right? That was a spectacular failure. I guess the demon already under a witch contract. That's some pretty bad luck. I'm so discouraged so immediately. Mars, hooking up with someone isn't as easy as going up to someone and asking to flirt with them. Hello, boys, welcome! Why not? Come on, there are plenty of people here. Just pick another one to start talking casually. What's the point? To get your first kiss, remember? Try a little harder. That, that, not at all. I just wanted to kiss a demon girl. I'm going home. What? Why? There is no one else here who I want to kiss, so I'm leaving. Man, you're just too picky. I guess we'll just have to quit up the nerd wall next time. Bad end. Okay, so we have the bad end now. We have the bad end. Gonna increase the whole demon girl, got too sad and went home. Done. Uh, this is a bad end, no one will blame you for skipping it. After you kiss his little brother. So wait, maybe I will want to like skip, um, reach to the to the thing table and leave the party. I give up. This was hopeless, and I'm going home before I embarrass myself more than I already have. Oh, no fun. Quit then. 
Okay, this is the bad ending. This is a super bad ending, right? Quitter, yes. And this one says, come back for this one after you kiss his little brother. So, start this one. Go to the Incubus boy. Should they take care for the, for the Incubus, right? Chair ball, let's go. Oh, you're on your face. Hello, I'm friends with him. You're massive, but are you? She tells me. Sorry, I'm just seeing. Yeah, this is the same. So. This one I really like. Oh, like momentarily. Go, oh, go off the cheer ball. There we go. Sorry, Basil, though I'm on a mission. Let's tell you later. Uh, um, no problem. See you around, I guess. Cherbal, I was actually hoping to ask your advice. Oh, so romantic advice from an incubus is what you're after, I see. More or less, sorry if this is weird. No, no, go ahead. It's just, I'm kind of a late bloomer when it comes to romance. So what's a good way to, um, start flitting with a stranger? There is no easy answer to that one, Marzipan. Everyone has their own unique approach to filtering. But I can tell you, it's important to pay attention to certain signals from whoever you are flirting with, to make sure they are interested first. Signals? Like what? For instance, if the person you approach tries to introduce someone else and then walks away, it might mean they aren't open to your advances. That's awfully specific, are you talking about something that may or may not have just happened? You tell me. Fuck, he hates me. I really messed this one up. What do I do? Apologize. Sorry, Chilbal, I'm being a total dumbass. No, I should be the one to apologize. Uh, that all came out a little out a little mean. Still, I feel so bad. I was rude to you and your brother. You seem like a good witch. Jam tells everyone as much as as such as much, and I believe her. Clearly we both have something we want out of each other. And I communicate it well because of it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Come with me, I want to show you something. Huh? Okay. He's taking me upstairs? He's opening a door. Is this his room? Is it wrong to get my hopes up? Is this happening? No, this goes probably because it's filled with... Demo Gamerch! It's my little brother's collection. This is his room. There is so many rare figurines in here. Oh, this set is so expensive nowadays. I never thought I'd see some real in life in real life. <laughs> As I talk, you two have a lot in common. This plush! Oh, I have seen this around for years and I always wanted to hold one. Chirval, your little brother is a god. He'd be happy to hear you say that. You should really get to know him. Yeah, I feel bad for snubbing him earlier. No, it's okay, I was careless too. I thought just getting you two talking might have enough to lead us somewhere. The truth is, my brother is a late groomer, just like you. He's an incubus with no experience, I'm worried about him. That's why you were hoping uh, you tried to pursue him instead? Yeah, exactly. It's like, what if he spends the rest of his life alone admiring his game characters? It'd be so sad. Hang on, what's that about that? Huh? I'm sorry, Chirval, but have you considered your brother might not even be interested in sex or romance? Maybe he's a lead broomer for a reason. I have my reasons too, so I can relate. <laughs> you know what? You're totally right, Marzipan. I don't think I never asked him directly about this. Well, you should. Next time you get a chance, maybe he feels perfectly safe and happy loving fictional characters. So don't be so pushy without asking him what he wants first. Yeah, I feel... Pretty embarrassed now. You had good intentions, at least. I'm sorry to lecture you. No, I needed to hear it. So, hey, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? What's the real reason you wanted to talk to me? I assume the romantic advice thing was just kind of an excuse. Oh, should I see this coming? I I didn't want your advice. I didn't want your advice, but what I didn't mention was I was planning to use it on you. <laughs> that explains why you were so persistent. She's just really good looking, so I thought, God, I'm sorry, this is so embarrassing. You're sweet, thank you. 
I thought my heart was filling up through like friendship and games and shit. I, it didn't matter to me that I'd never date anyone before. But now I'm well into adulthood and I look back and I feel like I, I never gave it that stuff a shot. And I realized that I actually wanted to try it now. It's just something I decided I needed to do for myself. So I came here to finally have my first kiss. Is that all? It's all my little baby heart can handle. You can make fun of me if you want. How could I? It's cute. You're doing all of this on your own terms. Cute? You're making fun of me. Just a kiss, huh? Well, if you wouldn't mind it coming from me. Seriously? Seriously. Oh, he's blushing a little. D -d -d please? Okay, are you ready? Ready as I will ever be. Oh, Gentle kiss and a heart. That wasn't such a big deal after all, huh? Satisfied. I am. I fulfill my goal. Thank you, Chirwal. His name is also is almost my name. Sure thing. I gotta get back downstairs now. I'm supposed to be hosting and all. Right. Yes, I should go apologize to Basil for for ditching him earlier. <laughs> Incubi are so powerful. I might really fall for him if I'm not careful. <laughs> Ah, oh, she fell for him. <laughs> she was <must> end. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet. And those are all the endings. Wait. There is another ending up here. So we have everything done over here. Someone familiar you hadn't consider. I know who it is. It's the cat girl. Retreat to the stack table. Skip it. Accept her help. Skip it. No, just like normal. Nice to meet you, I'm Periwinkle. I heard that many things. Really? <laughs> Nothing embarrassing, I hope. You're a fan of that. What was it called? Demon Sky Game? Like, close enough. <laughs> yeah, me and Jam play it together sometimes. Jam and I, my dear. Well now, frankly, I was looking for some company tonight, so if you will excuse me. What do you mean? You won't go have to go far for that. <laughs> Jan, what are you saying? Oh, I support your openness, but I'm rather not getting bold. Let's chat again soon. Rather not getting bold, I guess that's one way to, f to turn in someone down. Sorry, Mars. Perish is a tears boy, so I th a thirsty boy, so I think. So I thought. Never mind. I don't really know if I want to keep hitting on everyone that comes my way. Keep going along with it. Mars, you're making a face like you're having a bad time. I don't want you to have a bad time. Huh? Oh no, I, I didn't mean for it to be so obvious. I'm sorry, Jam, I'm just a little out of my element here, but I promise I don't want to give you up yet. Then let's try for a little longer. Who knows what, what kind of fun person you will meet. Alright, whatever you say, you are the fun person. Wee, Jam is here! Oh no, this one actually is really cute. Strudel, hey, have I have I ever introduced you to Marzipan? Well, this is her? Jam, you have my whole wholehearted approval. <laughs> approval? As my best friend? Huh? Are we best friends? N no, I mean, your approval of Mars as my bestie? Is that what you mean? What? No, aren't you two, like, dating? No, 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 we're just... Don't really give that impression. Oh, man. So I don't have the wrong idea, haha. <laughs> No wonder this is going so horribly. Jam, you look never shut up about this girl. What was anyone supposed to think? That were just best pals, and I was so obviously trying to hook her up with someone all night. You were? Oh, well, good luck. She's a cutie, so I'm super su sure someone will want to. See you around. I will be call. I will call you when I can try hanging out some uh, or that out more or something. Dude, Mars, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was only hurting your chances. Oh, I'm so dumb. You're not, it's fine. Do you want to just go home, or I don't know? It was pretty fucking embarrassing, so I kind of want to just go, but if you want to keep at it, we can go, it's okay. Oh, I feel so bad, I really messed up, I'm sorry. Nah, it was kind of fun. Really? Even if... Ah, 
I will make sure to explain to everyone that you're not my girlfriend. I just love you. Like friends love, obviously. No, that's not friends love. Look at you. You're blushing. You want a kiss. You don't have to do that. I just don't want everyone to misunderstand. To misunderstand. Oh, I bring you to my crowd and they, they think... Listen, next time we can go clubbing or something, I will just go watch from a safe distance. But maybe people will just notice that too. Ah. Oh. Forget it, I don't want to go to any parties or clubs or anything. Just the talk of it's way too exhausting. But I don't want you to give up your dream, dude. I don't know, I was thinking about it and like... Maybe I'm not fine with my first kiss being with some random. Some random. And if I could kiss someone, then maybe it's better if it's someone I'm already close to. What? Like, what if we just kiss right now and I get it over with or something? Totally not trying to force you, just... Are you serious? If anyone saw there would be like, no, explain it anyway. It, don't explain it away. So what? I don't want you to feel like you have to settle on me all because I messed up. I'm not settling. If you don't want to, just say no. It's, a, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. But... Do you want to? I... Do you want to? I asked you first. I'm asking you right now. Yeah. Then yeah, okay, uh, okay, I'm really gonna do it then, right now, yes, right now, what if this mess up our friendship or something, you think either of us will let that happen, not on purpose, but what if it did, sorry, I guess it has, it was too complicated, I should have asked, but I just made even more of a mess of things, really, let's please just forget the whole thing, Mars, hold on, this is important to you, and I love you and value our friendship so, so much. That's why I wanted to support you. When you say that anyone was fine, I thought, I thought you were with anyone but me, I guess. Not that I took it as something mean, just, I don't know, <laughs> I didn't think it was an, op I was an option. But if we kiss right now, I'm probably gonna want to do it again and again, like a lot, understand? Oh, uh, um, really? Yes, Mars, I fucking love you, okay? Oh, Not just friends love, apparently. Oh my god! We're so stupid! <laughs> oh my god, don't laugh! <laughs> what happens now? Want a hug? Duh. Oh, What kind of hug is this? It better not be a pity hug after you just laugh in my face. No, it is an I fucking love you too hug. Oh. Fuck, we're so gay. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, the best ending. The best ending. The best ending was this one. Yay. Jammin. The best ending. Best ending. Best keys. Best, best relationship. I love it. And I have all the endings. Oh. Your best friend became your girlfriend. You two should have admitted your feelings sooner. Yay. Oh my god. This was so cool. This was so cool. What a little game. What a great little game. All the endings achieved. And about, obviously. Um, this game was made for Jury Jam 2017. Story art and music by the wonderful Nom Nom Nami. If you want to have some queer games, I totally recommend go check her. They. They. Their. Their page. On Ichio. Background by Dark Chibi Shadow and Nightmare Ami is courtesy of Free Sounds or Taxi, Taxi in this one, especially to support us on Patreon. Yeah, she has a Patreon. And they, well, they, she, I don't know. They do amazing work. So basically, Nom Nom Nami, if you want to find some beautiful games, this is the one. Now, let's go to another game, shall we? Because this one we have finished it from beginning to end, and luckily we have the best ending possible in the end. I'm super glad about that. So let me see all the game that I have over here. Spooky Soria, done. Next one should be... Let's go for... Hmm... Homo Fix Hell sounds good. But Stick It To The Plan sounds good too. Let's go for Stick It To The Plan. Hello Fernando Moraga, welcome! Thank you for coming, Fernando! Okay. Now we have uh, this game on. Let me just put it in the OBS. Stick it to the plan. There we go.
There we go. What is this game about? Looks silly. Oh, do I do like this? Okay. Dog. Doggo. What the? Oh. Oh, it's a puzzle game. So, oh, okay. Take a look at the doggo. Um, spacebar to pick up the stick. Okay. I love it. Stick it to the plan. Oh my god, so cute. Can't go this way. I can't go this way either. Yeah, it looks super goofy indeed. But how the frick am I going to do this? Okay, I can't go up there. That's a that's a thing, right? Oh. No. Can I leave that stick? Oh, I can leave the stick. Oh, that's how you do it. Aha! Take a look at this. I can leave the stick. Got it. Okay, let's go grab the stick. Nope. Yes. Leave the stick. Grab it over here. Leave the stick. Grab it over here. There we go. Beautiful. What a goofy little dog. Um. Hmm. I believe this game was gonna be more difficult. Super easy, but it's restarted it with R. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I see why. Restart the level. Okay, so this is actually... This is not as easy as it looks. Okay, so... Uh oh. Okay, there we go. No, uh, but I can leave the bone and pick it up over here. Okay, this one is big. Come on, goofy looking dog. Let's do this. You can't leave sticks on bridges. Okay, got it. Um, by the way, how the freak? Oh, this is a bridge. Oh, okay. Oh, this was easy. Barely any convenience. 
Oh, this is a big stick. Okay, if I go like this and I pick it up this way. No, that's not the thing. I need to pick it up this other way. There we go. Now we go like this. No. I need to restart the level. So wait a second, if I go like, well, let's do this again, shall we? Like, yeah, we can't do much if we go like this. This, this is just the same thing as doing the other things, so no. I need to go this way all the way, like this. Do this. And then what? Oh, I could pick up the... No, that's, that's the same thing as doing the other thing. Okay, I can't spin around here. Oh, I see. I see. See what I need to do. I see what I need to do. See what I need to do. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Tuki, 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 tuki. Leave the stick over there. There we go. Aha! Big brain move! Big brain! Ha! Did I really that's why three long stick? Yeah, no, 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 I, 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 re I realize that. Um, this one, we need to do the same thing as before. go and now bridge will collapse uh oh no wait 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 Hmm, I think I did an oopsie here. I think I need to restart the level. I think that's not the solution this time. This time, I need to bring it up. Ah, damn it, there is a... Well, that's it. This is the way to do it, right? Like, so need to think outside the box. Like, this is the way it goes. Oh, I know! I know! No! 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 I know! No! 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 I know now. No. Ah, there we go. And I just go over here and pick it up. Yeah!
restart the level. Oh, oh, oh I see, I see, I see. I, I saw it. Look at this goofy dog. There we go. There we go. Damn it. Oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know now. I know now. Now I know. Now I know, now I know, now I know, now I know. First. Bring this stick over there. Nope. Go down, 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 down. Pick this up. Put it down there. That way. And then... Oh, no. I, I completely screwed up. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I'm just being reckless. This is a precision thing. This one down, pick this one, going over there. There we go. No, 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 bunch. There we go. Going down, pick up the stick, turn it around. Now, pick this one up, turn it off, and there we go. Hell yeah. Um. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Well, to do this, I need to do it like this. I can't leave the, the stick on the bit. Okay. Okay, okay, we're doing this. I screwed up. Yeah, I can't do anything. Okay, doggo, we did the wrong move. The first move was correct. We needed to go like this. Like this, and then we go like this. After that, we need to go down here. No, I need to keep... keep uh, there we go. Yes! Where is the stick? It's over there. Okay, but we can already play this game a little while. It's uh, it's more of the same, it's super cute. If you want to play it, go and play it. It's called a stick, a stick to the Plan. Super cute the dog, super cute the gameplay. I love the idea of being a dog trying to get a stick to the, to the objective. It's super sweet. So, next game, shall we? Main menu, how many levels are there? Like, can I see that? How many levels are they? Or I just click continue and launch me into the game. Yeah, launch me into the game. I can't see how many are. Okay, but this game was super sweet. Super mega sweet. But now, let us go for another one. Let me, give me a second though, I want to see something. I put this thing over here, right? And I turn it on, like this. Yeah, it, it actually, like, it receives the movement of my lips better. I put a light. I'm going to buy a light uh, soon-ish. Okay, next game. Stick to the plan. Super fun. Spooky sorry. Super fun. Um, Speed swap or... May I take your order? Hmm... What is this one? How we know we're alive? Sounds good. But what about if we go for a, a horror game? We may go for a little horror game. Let me just uh, put the OBS to capture the game. Um, no, 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 yes. Hey, we have it. 
Ooh la la. This is quite old. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We move fast. Money. Let me see if it's like... Yeah, it's capturing anything according to this. But why is it not being seen in the stream, though? Ah, there it is. There we go. Money. You need a gate key to open this door. The controls are a little janky because the movement is in a is probably in a grid. Buy a ticket for four dollars. And I buy a soda, a Fanta. I'm a kid. I'm probably a kid. I can buy a ticket. You need a ticket, but... Oh, I need to hold it. You have the ticket. That freak is up with the music. You need a key card. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it tanked. Oh, when it comes to the train, it tanks. Key. You have the maintenance key. Can I jump into the rails? Yes, I can. Can I jump out, out of the rails? What? What is the music happening? What the freak is that? Is that freaking... What the freak? Why is he after me? Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. Stop following me. Can I bite? Can I beat him? No, I cannot. Oh, come on. What is a train when you need one? <laughs> oh, this is stupid. No. What the freak? What the freak was that? Okay, that was that was that was stupid. I mean, I like it. Good morning, Roma Human. Welcome to the stream. This is a big padlock. No! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Stop running like that! You're not scary when you run like that! Dad! Dad! Oh boy! She's after me sitting him! Oh my god! Huh? Oh! What a 180! Yeah, indeed! He's still after me! Can't you stop? Oh my god! Would he stop? No, he would not! I'm dead! Whoa! You missed! I'm... I fooled! Okay. This game is silly. I, love, I like it, but not that much. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. But, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, that was fun. But not necessarily something like I... Like I would want to play a lot. Um, Next up, we can go for... This one is done. This one is done. This one is done. Um... 
Spirit Swap. What is this one? I'm rising my Ichio folder. Oh wait, I think I know which this one is. Oh, this one is beautiful. I I totally forgot I have this one to play. Like there are a lot of games I have to play, like. Let me just put this thing to something. No, no, no. Here it is. Take a look at the art of this one. Super cute. Love of it too much 3 2. Play. Um, space one. Okay, space one. This is just a match three. Go for a little dog with a stick to a random man running, not actually in a subway. Indeed. Look at how beautiful the characters are. Hey, Samar. Hey, Shkin. I love the names. What's up with you? You look kind of down. I have been hitting a plateau with my spirit swapping lately. You know how it is. You do the same routine over and over and your muscles got bored. What a bummer. Can I do anything to help? Maybe you could show me your form, get me inspired again. Nobody swaps spirits like you do. Sure, yeah, sure. I can show you a thing or two. Get the oh my god, beautiful! Uh, use W use key um, to move the cursor, swap spirits, and do that just like that. Okay, super easy. Spell middle. For this demo, you have only one spell, the square. To trigger your spell, arrange four identical spirits in a square shape and press Alt. Your spell will work if you have enough magic for it. Don't let those spirits reach the top of your game of your game board or it's game over. So I just like... Oh, I need to start... Uh, okay, got it, got it, got it. How do I do like... I can only swap them like vertical... Like this? This way. <laughs> the faces they do. Can I not swap like a vertical? No, I cannot. So only, only horizontal. Got it. Only horizontal. I can do this with quickie. Um. Oh my god. It's not as easy as it looks. I, I swear. Um. It's weird that I can like. Alt. Take a look at the alt. Super cool. Because I wish to like change. Can I rotate this thing? No, I cannot. Okay, okay, but it's okay. Um, I'm, a, 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 I'm, a. Okay. Look at that frog. Super cool. It has flora inside of it. Okay, that was interesting. That was rather as hell. Anyway, Lulu made me two libras of caffeine. Wanna grab a load? I love the characters. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna work with a uh, with you. I'm not gonna work with you. Valid, valid, whatever makes you feel good. You wanna help me thank everyone for playing our game? Sure, hey, thanks for playing our game. You must be a very cool and sexy person. Thank you. Really in a bit, sweetie. Got you, thanks for playing our game. You must be a person. Nailed it. Okay, so this was the demo, just like that. Okay, that's actually super cool. I want to see. Is the kickstart was the kickstarter successful? Because the characters were beautiful. Um Oh the, it, it's um Yeah, I think it's Yeah, it's it's finances. It's finances? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. So it's finance. It's it, it managed it managed to hit the goal. And it even managed to get the uh, stretch gold, a couple, to, a couple of stretch goals. Cool, 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 cool. I think I follow this game on Steam. If I'm not mistaken, I follow it. I I have it in my in my wish list. That was super short, but shows you what the game is going to be about. Super cool. Like the idea of the Luffy. It's always good to have a Luffy. And the characters are beautiful. Okay, quit. Okay, another game on the in the back. Let's see, what other game do we have over here? Spirit swap done. 
Spooky story done from beginning to end. Stick it to the plan, done. Tomorrow the game, done. Um, we could go for... Oh, wait, but look at the time. We've already almost been two hours in. And I need to go and pay for my internet. I need to go and pay the services. So, listen up. This is, a, this is all the time we have for today, but we're going to do another live stream this afternoon, probably. That was too short of a demo. Yeah, this was super short, but it shows you basically the, 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 the basis of it, right? Like, the base of the game is basically that. You just match three, and the rest is full of story. So it was a good demo. Um, we could go for... I don't know how long this one is, but looks fine. Let's actually do one more. Um, where are my options to put this thing in full screen? Here it is. Okay, that being done, let me go now to Ichio. Game capture. We're gonna may I take your order. There we go. That should do it. Okay. Is everything being recorded? Yeah, everything is being in the in the thing. Absolutely, there is gonna be a lot of characters. Indeed, indeed it does. That game looks like it's gonna have a lot of characters too. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be super cool. All right, I have been filling out a few applications today, and this is the last one. I have been playing. I've been planning to work at restaurants all over. I might not see glamour, but I want to see how different places run. If I want to open my own restaurant someday, it's crucial to see what does and doesn't work. A friend told me I should save my top picker for last, and I should really kick him for that. My hand's about to fall off. It's very ritzy establishment, but comfortable. Fancy, but not overpriced. Important clientele, but are still kind of an inclu inclusive. If you can't make connections here, you're dead. Financially speaking. And the food? Remarkable. I have heard of any anyone ever having a bad meal here. I gotta know how they accomplish so much. So I try not to be so nervous and fill this out like it's any other application. My first name is Cheb. There we go, Cheb. I fill in my address and try not to despair over the handwriting before getting to the personal section. Gender is male. And I finish filling the, out the form. I can I cap the pen and lean back in my chair. Man, it's nice to be done. Well, except for heading outside and turning them all in, one at a time. Eh, better get out to it. Two weeks later, I am a waist deep in my first Saturday shift at the restaurant. Busy doesn't even begin to describe it. After seven hours of the weekend rush, I am ready to go home. I stop off at the temple 6 and go through the motions. Thank you for dining with us, sir. My name is Chev, and I will be your servant this evening. He smiles at me. Pleasure to meet you, Chev. Mr. Chev. Have you dined with us before, sir? Yes, indeed. I'm quite happy to be back. Huh, just you this evening, sir? No, my girlfriend will be here shortly. I will just have a cup of coffee while I wait for him. For her. I will go get that you right away, then. No rush. Countless families and couples have come and gone today. But for the past hour, that one guy been clogging up table six. Are you doing all right, sir? He takes he he checks his watch again. Stood up, guy. Yes, I am stuck time. She will be here any second. He's been saying that for the last for the past forty five minutes. I tell him to pack it up and leave, but he doesn't have the look I do expect for someone in his position. There is anxiety, but only a little bit, and there is no disappointment. Not a shred of doubt in his eyes. He really thinks. Excuse me. He looks up at me. It seems like he's coming sort of a decision. Thank God. But this is a restaurant with crayons, correct? Um, yes, sir. We have those for kids. Excellent! A sting of ferocity enters his eyes, one that doesn't quite pair naturally with crayons. One, please, and red, if you got if you got it. Yes, sir. I'm not about to argue with the customer, so I head to the front. It's not exactly usual, but the guy has been sitting here for half an hour with no phone. I'm caught between pity and irritation, and hope... Is this a dating sim? You're gonna be surprised. 
and hope for the umpteen time that he has enough empathy to tip well on the single cup of coffee he's been nursing. There is a small tin with several crayons. We try to keep fresh ones ready. I grab a red crayon. It's not about red crayon, no sense being mean to him. He may be weird, but he's probably having a bad night too. I bring the crayon back over to him and hand it over. Thank you, Mr. Chef. It's no big deal. Hey, uh, are you okay? I saw you don't have a cell phone, and but we could call your girlfriend and... No warning, no nothing, he knocks everything off the table and climbs right on. What? Sir? Please get down! His deft hands crawl a wide circle, then another, then sections of areas, slicing as though the crayons were a knife. He fills it with symbols. They look almost like zodiac signs. Homo sum humani amenihil alienum puto. It's like I stood up too fast. There is a rush to my head, rush into my head. There is a pressure, like my ears are going, going to pop. Ah! The tablecloth rips and there is a spray of sweat, of sweet smelling fluid. I leap away from the table as something bursts out. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Wet, spitted appendages are flailing all over, slapping and snacking their way over the windows and doors. They are fleshy but soft, too soft, and they must have disfigured as they slam against everything in sight. I once smacked that hat off another diner, who continues to eat her meal, on face, nobody screaming, and nobody noticing me on the ground, arms raised to protect my face and throat too right, too tight to scream again. But that's okay. The thing is screaming enough for the entire restaurant. It's letting out a dual tone screech, high and low, but I can't discern one throat, let alone two. Crayon thrown to the floor, the, the stoop up guy and worst diner ever start to call out at it. Sweetie! For goodness sake, put your body on! We are in a nice restaurant in a nice restaurant! It scratches and roars back at him. I know, I know, but he weighs a bundle of clothes at it. I brought you some clothing! And it's super comfy! It slopes up the bundle of fabric, and the creature bubbles and draws back into itself, twisting until... What the frick is happening? Oh, Jesus Christ! I emerge! You're here! You had me worried, so I figured I'd help the barrier down a bit. Taliopodia, you have no idea how good it is to see you. When he says that word, my ears finally pop, and my teeth grit. It's a bad word. It's not a curse word per se, not so much a word you wouldn't say in front of your boss. It feels like the wrong answer in a classroom meeting. In a classroom or meeting. That moment when everyone turns and looks at you. And you just want to sink through the floor. I just want to sink through the floor. I want to very quietly go get my coat and change my name and move to whatever town is on the exact opposite point of the globe from where I'm currently standing. You informed me that the very was too frail in this portion of your world. I will hold you responsible for the trouble. He's beaming at the, at the thing that came out of the hole, but I can't look at it. It hurts, it hurts to roll my eyes towards it, like I'm de dehydrated. When I close my eyes, the dark behind my eyes is so, cold, so cool and so soft. Huh? There are tears running down my cheeks. I hadn't noticed it. The guy, Hendrik, beams and gestures towards the, gag the gaggle of ice and puffy wool. This is my girlfriend, Talaiporia! Imprudent micro microbe! I may choose to craft for myself the form of a creator, a breathing one. But I'm capable of far greater creations than your rep prepubescent females. And far more ero er erroneously, your inflated ego thinks I will be I will deign to refer to you as any any form of companion. 
Her words wash over him like a gentle breeze. It looks like she could rip his face off, but his, her words just make his eyes brim with joy. We have been dating for about 400 years now, and though the long distance thing is an ins insane bit of an annoyance, we make it work. The moment I found a device and effective method of accompl accomplishing your, de your demise, I will rid your soul from your ever regenerated body and chew it to a gruel. He sits down at the all but destroyed table and picks up his menu. But until that beautiful day when I can't be with you forever, you're going to need to eat something else. The light party stops. She looks at me and I bounce between the eyes, trying to make contact with one that does not stir down in my deepest inequities. There is... human fuel here? I nod. Her mouth break up uh, open into a... Her mouth spread open into a smile. Excellent. You are spared from punishment, Hendrik, if only for the moment. She sits down, but not on a chair. Dozens of her tentacles are still present through the entire room, spikes driven deep into the surfaces, blocking all the exits. She settles into one of the squishy appendages, looking pleased. So then, maybe we should order an appetizer. It's not that I can't believe that this is happening, I have an open mind. But as far as sudden supernatural shifts to my life, I was really hoping for wisdom school. Or just a plain old haunting. Some ghosts are pretty some ghosts are pretty cool, right? At least with a zombie or something, I do know the rules here. What are the rules with this thing? Do I throw rice on the ground or, or to stall her? Will she attack me if I touch her with, uh, with iron? I'd listen into my god, but I can't make out anything but general foreboding. Demon? Summon demons, that, that's it. But yeah, I don't know. Something doesn't seem quite right about that. Maybe she's a... Uh, um, excuse me. Oh! I can barely think, but I can at least fall back on one set of rules. I struggle to shudder out the route to, to, to play. Uh, uh, would you like to s start off with a soup or salad tonight? The man grins and gives an eager nod. Could I please get the blue cheese salad? And for my sweetie... The teleporter rolls her eyes and her teeth flash as she cuts in. Henry, I have been on enough of these sham dates to know that order you for a companion is for your companion is rude. His face falls. But it's been ages since you haven't eaten any food. You are chewing on the fork right now. She gives him a glare and slowly places a slightly bent cutlery back down on the table. Fine. But before he can say another word, she makes some her move. I don't want your advice though. I want your, the young human to choose for me. Oh no. He sighs annoyed. But he, check, he checks himself before looking at me. I think he knows that she's putting me on the spot. I can appreciate that he's trying to look out for me. I mean, I'd appreciate it more if I couldn't have summoned some kind of eldritch thing during a really busy result with any shift. Or at all. I ease my throat open enough to squeak out. Lamb. Lamb chili. This doesn't seem to mean much or anything to her great. And what would you like to do for your entrance? She slams a fist down onto the table. My stomach lurches. First we make the matter your physical form requires fuel to sustain itself. I turn on my heel and fly out of here, an excuse to leave. If there is any kind of extra-dimensional beings looking down on, the, on me right now, I would like to take this opportunity to thank them. I rush into the kitchen. Back in the kitchen, everyone's still bustling about. Other servers are calling in their orders. The ambitious cooks are working. The slightly less ambitious cooks are cracking jokes with each other. They are obli oblivious as the customers up front. I can see my manager discussing some menu changes with the head chef. Hey, does anyone else want to go uh, see what's going on over here? But nobody turns to look at me. Hey, I'm serious. What the hell is going on? Are they ignoring me? Do you expect me to just come back here and bring in this order like nothing's wrong? I take a sarcastic tone. Yep. Yeah. We got a blue cheese and chili for table six. Just another usual night, right? Without warning, a tray with the order is put down at the counters next to me. 
But other than that, there is no hint of a glance, no guilty looks. Hey! Nobody even flinches. Fine. Looks like I'm on my own. And did I tell you how lovely your eyes are this evening? For your every fizzy swear sewer pipe of compliments spring something worthwhile. I made most of them myself, but the eye in the center of my head was my, refer my reference object. I couldn't even tell the difference. Your anatomy has gotten so much better since the last decade. It is easier when I have a fresh su supply of study material. So I suppose I can remain here long enough to consume some matter. Let no sentient being claim that I do not repay my debts. Kendrick is too darn loyal for his own good. Indeed! Well, that's just one of the perks of, my jo of the job. Teachers can bring home knowledge. Ghosts can bring home food. And surgeons can bring spare body parts back to their girlfriends. I can say with relative certainty that this isn't how it works. Even if I ever find out um, uh, this man's last name, I will, I'm never going to his hospital. I serve the light pour at her chili, trying not to get too close. Please be careful, it's very hot. Remember, sweetie, that too much heat can endure. Silence, meat garden! I know what to do with ball lighted heat sources. Oh, what the freak? She flings the scaling liquid across the table and it hits Kendrick square in the chest. Ah! He rushes out to the bathroom, face red from pain. We don't serve out soup, soup, soups at the heat that could be permanent damage, but that still has to hurt. She closes most of her eyes and inhales a deep breath, satisfied. When she speaks again, her rough voice has a tranquil tone. Clean it up, human. This is an establishment with standards, is it not? Well, it was! I matter. The elegant charm might be a bit altered by the sudden presence of giant tentacles. She snuggles down into her seat. This is a gift for your owners. This is silver of my true form. This is a sliver of my true form. Well, it's... Lovely. Sorry that you really like the chili. Apology unnecessary, human. I enjoy that immensely. She sniffs the air. And it smells nice as well. She does a little of the meat to her neck. This body has concentrated blood flowed around the throat and whist. This pulse points heat and disperse stray molecules of matter, allowing you humans to receive them with their noses. She seems quite pleasant with this luxury. She wraps the scarf around around neck. Now that I think about it, the clothing Hendrik brought to her is all very heavy. A maxi skirt, a thick sweater, and a blanket scarf. The voyager clenches that scarf. Are you cold? You may not have my scarf. It retains my heat. I will continue to generate and retain it heat, and I will belong to me, not you. I take a step back. No, that's all your heat. Fair and square. She growls. Happily? Yes, all mine. Hendrik will produce more matter this evening which will continue to power this form. Physically, exertion is a luxury, the caloric energy necessary to move at a digit. She lifts one of her own claws. It's precious. I could go for thousands of years, lying, lying in wait for foolish summers to tear open rifts and let in the good, good heat from your world. Teleporia leans down on the table, the edges of the scarf drain into, the, into her chili. Or at least what's left of it. Is it selfish to be happy that she's disarmed now? I look at the still present tentacles and re re recalculate that statement. She at least cannot harm me with this soup, with this soup, and that's something. So, human, how do you enjoy generating your own heat? Um, it's good. I'd rather just turn on the heater, though. I like it. Physical activity is fun. I too enjoy hunting. Actually, consumption of matter at times comes second to the thrill of pursuing a terrified creature. Well, I was more thinking about exercise, you know, to keep it shape. She stops. Did you waste your fuel on extra heat? No, no, it isn't a waste, it's fun. 
She hisses through her jagged teeth. The human enjoys this, does she? Does he? Yes, it's nice to be able to move, isn't it? She taps her knife against her, her glass. Well, I suppose. My cat returns. Get along well. As well as I as might be expected. Still, thank you for keeping her company. We'll eat our appetizers and... She shakes her head. I am finished with mine. He laughs. Of course, how could I forget? So then, would you like to move on the main course now? Hmm? The next part of the meal? Ah, yes, with the larger portions. Henry points over to, her menu, to the menu. So, what are you thinking about? I always liked steak, but I admit that I was kinda thinking about splung splunging on the... Hey, human chef! I snap to attention. Yes, ma'am! Choose! Do it promptly and wise, or else I will need to consume something else for my main course. She's staring me right in the eyes and her gaze lingers on my mouth. She stares at my teeth and licks her lips. Could she eat my teeth? Well, I think you will enjoy... Um, we have live lobster here. What about the, the live lobster? Henry gives a bit of a nod. That's my order too. It's been a while, but this is a special night. What? At what point did humans discover the joy of consuming live, live creatures? Wait, she doesn't think I will save to eat, eat to her while it's still... No, sweetie, I'm afraid that most of us are still a touch prudish about that sort of thing. But they have a tank here, so the lobster is fresh. Fah! Nothing is as fresh as squeezing the life from a creature with your jaws. Oh my god, he's, he's liking it! He's into it! Feeling it breathing and struggling in a fruitless attempt to stave off the icy curtain of death. She's looking straight at my throat. Two lobster dining's coming right up! I rush away as quick as I can. Oh my god. I tried to convince the chef to let me serve one lobster live. I feel downward goalish, but between me and the cross station, I'm going to defend myself every time. But her reaction is the same as the last time. She prepares the dishes as usual and hands them off to me, never making that counter or reacting to anything I say. What is this? She lifts off the extra utensil. It's a lo the lobster cracker. Use it to crack open the shell. Hmm. This is a fair deal idea, but it's such a waste, Cheb. To use this on a deceased creature. Oh! Well, this food is food is dead, isn't it? Easier to consume. She waves a claw at me. Not if you have to crack it open anyway. Hendrix is already diving the meat out of his. I like it. It's suited to have a little tack tactile activity as part of your meal. Teleporia's claws slip on the lobster cracker. Meat shield. How are you employing your tool? Well, you put either end of the metal bit over, raise it up and demonstrate. He holds the lobster cracker and one leg up, leaning towards so they close enough to her to get a good look. She holds her up, pat pantomiming his actions. Then probably grabbing one of his hands, wrapping the cracker around his pointed finger, and gripping it tightly. Ow! Oh! His finger just out on odd angle, and blood drips off the torn tablet cloth. She cackles and throws the metal tool at his head. Fool, I can easily employ such a simple item! Ah! Uh, he's leaning away from his injured hand, the other on his face. Uh, right you are, you got me. He sure does look embarrassed. It's really hard to tell through the pain. I mean, that is an expression of pain on his face, right? I guess she got him? He breathes heavily, trying to get himself under control. As told to prove a point, he goes right back to eating a dinner. As told nothing were wrong. So before I go, is everything that you're liking? Is the food I'm powering your true form enough? Silly Chev, when I'm in a true form, I do not consume human fuel. Huh? This human template, my... What did you call it? Hendrik cocks mid-bite mid and he covers his mouth to respond. 
human sauna. Human sauna? My human sauna, it consumes calories, inhales oxygen, excretes feces, all the same as, your, as, as you yourself, I assume. I never expected to have a standard pattern asking me if I breathe and poop, but here we are. And my tooth form requires something much more deeply sustaining. She stares me down. She looks at my teeth again. She looks me in the eye. She holds that eye con contact and waits. I turn not to squirm, but my moxie is inadequate for this situation. She waits. And the laughs. I can breathe again. Delicious. I like dusting of fear. Nothing too overwhelming. Oh, if that doesn't strike her as a bunch of fear. Please let me never ever will learn what does. So, you eat fear then. It falls under my purview. Suffering. Sweet is to form its concepts. And she builds her human sonas to have quite the taste for them too. Any form of important emotion can sustain her, but she's picky. I am not. Suffering is the only time thing worth eating. Eating anything else will be beneath me. It's okay, whatever you eat. I love you just the way you are. And I wouldn't like I wouldn't like you much better with with several more stab wounds on the head. Anytime, sweetie. Though I managed to sneak away from the next 15 minutes, I know that I will eventually have to return. I try to strike up a conversation with the line cooks again. So, how did you like feel about the recent technical invasion? Of course, nobody responds. Yeah, it's hard to really put it in the words, huh? No response, this is click. I guess the spooky atmosphere has a certain charm, but I doesn't think I will, it will catch on with the baby boomers. Conventional wisdom says that they, they are like elegance or rustic charm, and Midwestern moms are not into dripping fluids. I mean, as a general group. I don't want to assume individual tastes. This gets boring quickly, so after the appropriate waiting period, get back to over. Hello, you two. So, thank you for dining with us tonight. I did it. I made it through the evening. I'm tempted to not even give them a check, so to just rush them right out the door. But I refuse to sleep up now. It's been a delight getting to know both of you, the both of you. How kind of you. You know, I was planning on heading out, but you know what? I couldn't go less if I attempted. I am very powerful. I am capable of caring far less than most humans could in their most apathetic dreams. Let's do the third. No, please. Oh, okay. I look from his smile face. To teleport a cool one. I know this is how it goes. Let's make a recommendation. Ah, let me see. Chocolate torta for the... Banana Foster Blambling. <laughs> Fuck it. Cost you to the wind. In my profession, sleeping must be... What are we impregnating? <laughs> Sweetie, it's a figure of speech. I don't have that function this time around. Sweetie, I think he's just tired. That's okay. I think if I wanted to get truly satisfy night for a steam boy goddess, then she's going to enjoy this dessert. Or at least how we cook it. What is this blathering about? But I can tell I got her hook. We cook it table side with a huge flame. And there it is. It's, I'm not so sure about this. Looks like he's picking up the pattern too. Oh, I insist. I don't even need to write this one down. One flame in the serve for table six. I scurry over the kitchen, grabbing everything I need. And I clear to do this. Hell no. Two weeks is not long enough to have permission to set things on the fire next to the diners. But the next special, isn't it? I will take our over. Feeling at my chat here, I take my time my time preparing to light it on fire. So, congrats on getting out of, uh, what did you call it, the cold place? The void. Void, cute. God, what is like that in there? Dark, cold, mostly barren. Looking for something approaching an eternity with nothing but your own thoughts. Unless you can become creative. I do my best to make creatures out to feel it, but it's a vast expanse. Literally endless big. But with nothing in it. Yeah, I thought part of your conversation before. You made your body, right? Indeed, when rifts become open, I am able to seize not only hate but straight matter. 
I model the majority of my creations after your carbon-based life forms. But modify modifications must be made. I'll bet. If the boy doesn't have heat or any of its own matter, you need to create creatures you that don't eat or breathe, right? Good human. I model most of them after myself. And you eat concepts. Yes. After billions and billions of years, I have evolved over a million species of void creatures. Nearly, of, nearly all of them, as I do, on a concept of suffering. So it's an endless barren place, with no light, no heat, where the only things that exist just go around preying on each other, suffering all the time. Yes! It's not, is it not marvelous? And someday, human chef, there will be a rift large enough that it's not tiny crabs, scraps and stray humans will fall through. But your entire plane of existence... You will enjoy it. Wouldn't I, uh, I uh, hate it? I got distracted there for a bit, but I grabbed the room. Can't caramelize it right without the pretty flame. I mean, I don't enjoy suffering. Just if it's a pride what humans can get used to. I used to wrong, a wrong English word, like close translation might be... Resignation. You will become resignated to an existence saturated with pain. Enjoy isn't the correct term. Unless you are a disgusting cluster of misweighted brain signals. Love you too, sweetie. Ugh. I know what you're doing, Hendrik. Hmm? You think if you can keep delaying me with fancy dinners, stole body parts, gentle words, and rough sex... Call we talk about sex life of Polygon without it, thank you. She plays the hand on his arm. That you can stop me. You are as always disgusting, but an ap appealing opening. Look out! And I light it up. The flame shines in her eyes. And I can feel the heat coming off it. I should probably be keeping a close on it, uh, an eye close on it. To make sure it's cooking properly. But looking over at Hendrik and Telephoria. They are both holding hands. Oh, So simply and happily. She's gripping his hand tightly from joy. And then she jerks him across the table. Jesus! Straight to the flaming cart! Now that burn? That one could cause permanent damage. Though he might be lucky that that's the worst thing that this happened to this to him tonight. He excuse a perfect stop, drop and roll, and soon the flames are out. Jesus! He took his far from unscared. Humans, this was a fantastic dinner. Bring us the statement so that we may repay you from your noble worship and gifts. I salute and wield what remains of the unparted cart away. It's uh, not long before the return with the bill in hand. He takes the check. He seems to be a bit of calculating his head. Then lays down some cash. Well, this evening wasn't a complete waste of time and effort. Organ ravioli. Henry looks up at her. You may have one short, friendly embrace. He jumps to his feet, arms wide open to hug her, and one of her tentacles slams into him, throwing him body across the room. It slams into the world and ragdolls to the ground. Hand transaction complete! Oh no, did you just kill him? She waves, she gives a sign. Well, I were so lucky. No, human, I can merely render him unconscious. That's good. His severe cranial hemorrhage. Be a severe caramel hemorrhage. That's bad. He will sleep it off, even rip off his limbs before. He can't take it. She looks almost found. She gets up, walks to over to him, and grabs him by the foot. I suppose it's time to return him to his residence. She perks up. Or I can abandon his body in a trash unit. Perhaps nobody will find him, and he will be placed inside a trash compactor. As she returns to drag him away, I ask, Miss Talavoria? She turns quizzical. Human, I am departing. You have made it through this evening un uncatched. You have little to no ability to comprehend how fortunate this that makes you. But I suggest just make an attempt. I clear my throat. I, um, I think I'm, I'm trapped. I just threw around at the restaurant. Oh, yes, I had forgotten. Your world usually has even more light, does it not? She shrugs. Well, I had no hands in this. And with that, she waves aside a tentacle and marches through the front door. 
Henry Kerr thuds against the ground as she walks down the staircase and out of sight. When I hear the front door close, ah! another server bumps into my shoulder, stepping past. They give me a dirty look and keep heading their way. Just like that, I'm back. I get moving, clearing the table, scooping off the deck to check. I check the tip. 40%! It might not cover the emotional distress, but I will cap off the shift well. This was quite experience. But for my own safety, I think I'm going to skip the two weeks notice. I came here to learn something new. And I do say that the goal was more than accomplished. <laughs> Jesus! Ending for a, a hug goodbye. There are multiple endings and I got the good one. <laughs> Jesus! Okay. But this is all the time I have for today. That was a great game. Oh my god, that was amazing. I might go for the rest of them. Um, yeah. So that was great. This was great. This was great. This was great. Let me quit. That was amazing. What a great game. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have for today. I have to go and pay my bills. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you had a blast. I was the Los Chevalier, signing out. Thank you, Bose. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, Normal Human. I hope you liked that last one. It was a little of a, of a horror one. Okay, goodbye, Victor McTavish. Thank you, everyone, for coming. It was a lot of fun. Fernando, yeah, that's my face, too. This afternoon, we'll be playing some science fiction games, so if you like colonizing Mars, I'm going to be doing that. So, well... See you later. Bye-bye.